okay, I've got the G21 C post now in the frame. Gonna start building. I was like starting easy, start with putting the seat on. Uh, so handy. Uh, so the new C post, it's an M6 uh, threads on one side. Comes with two little placeholder spots. So unscrew. I just have the standard round saddle rails, if that's all you have on yours. Then just use the ones that are included. Um, I should do in the hardware um, box that they do come with the ones for the round carbon. So maybe if you have one of the higher and specialized saddles, you'd want to take the bolt completely out and swap out these end pieces here. But um, if you just have normal round rails, it's not a problem. So easy task done, already feeling accomplished. So next, it's probably easiest to start with routing the brake cables. Um, so again, we're working with the L2 RX. So I've got the hardware out here, I'll put a picture in the video. Um, so you get a huge bag of hardware, which um, can be daunting to go through if you don't know what you're doing. But it comes with multiple mounts, so they're, if you're running 140 calipers, so it's a little bit confusing, there's says 140, 160, um, you're not going to use those, or I'm not going to use them because I'm doing 160 calipers. Despite it saying 160 on them, we actually want the ones that say 160 to 180. So, we can get started by, um, for this we can mount them on, if you had like a Shimano style brake, you'd have to screw the brake onto this first, uh, because they're flat mount or close mount, um, all the screws come from the top, so we can put these on after. So you get a bag with a bunch of hardware, including a whole bunch of bolts. The thing is you basically want to select the bolt to the back that is long enough that it goes through the frame from the bottom side, um, but will fully thread into the caliper. So you don't want to be too short. Um, and you don't want to be too long, otherwise it might impact the ability for the brake to actually fit onto this kind of uh, So again, I'll <clears throat> tighten it up a little bit. So these we can actually put tight all the way. There's essentially two adjustment points for getting the brake to not rub on uh, the disc. So we have these obviously, the first two bolts can be modified or the top two bolts can be left loose and we can adjust the brakes that way. So uh, we'll start with that for now. If we have to, we can come back and loosen these off and recenter it. So doing it this way was obviously a design choice by L2 to not have to make flat mount and post mount brakes. So they just made one kind of brake. And then just give you a little extra hardware. Oops. That's not enough. Never over tighten on carbon. Um, come back with a torque wrench after to make sure these are the right tightness, but tight enough so they're not going to move for now. Um, so we'll get started. It's the brakes, essentially for the front and the back, are identical. They come with the hose in um, at the caliper. So if you have an internally routed handlebar. That can seem daunting, it's probably in your head easiest to start with putting the cables in first, then getting it through the frame. Um, after having done a few, it's actually not that bad doing it the other way. The one problem I ran into is the if you have a maybe larger stack head or something, the front hose isn't actually super long, so it can be a little bit tricky, um, but the back one's definitely been long enough. This is a 56 frame and it's quite large, so 
We'll start with that. Um, so yeah, you can tell easily which one's front and back just based on hose length. So not seen here in the video, uh, maybe I'll include a picture of it, um, but compared to other Yolio frames, there's no uh, plastic mount where this cable goes in, it's just a uh, molded carbon, so let's see if it's before. So I noticed Sometimes you just kind of twist the cable around if it feels like it stops. And this is where the holes in the bottom bracket come in handy. Um, just stick your finger in there until you feel the cable. And then what you want to do is grab the cable but root it around the top of the bottom bracket. Feel it. And then once you've got it around the bottom bracket, it's just pushing all the way up. And eventually it comes out the top. Or if you feel it's stuck, then the cable's here. And it's just stuck on the lip. So you pull that through. So as you can see, lots of cable to work with. Um, for the back brake, especially if you're looking to have a larger stack height or a long stem. Um, and then from the hardware to fix the brake onto the mount, um, just use the smallest bolts that come with it. Again, if you go too long, uh, well, one, it's not possible to go long enough because of the mount, and two, if you go too long on this one, um, you'll hit the frame. So don't want that. So not getting it completely tight, but tight enough that's not going to move too much. A solid anchor point, and you get the back in. The problem is because the cable's anchored by the frame, it does sort of want to torque the um, caliper in a certain position. So getting the front bolt in is a bit easier, I find. And again, we don't want to tighten these ones all the way because we will have, or you can, but you'll have to loosen them later um, to make sure the caliper is centered on the rotor. So tight enough, cables through the frame, perfect.